friends, it's just Martine and welcome to the start of a very busy weekly reading vlog. I don't even know what day it is. It's the last week of May and it's Monday morning and things are already off to a crazy start because this week is genuinely going to be insane. Because here's the thing, on Sunday, my family rolls out of town for a three week trip and my life is a disaster around me right now. So that's great. I still have things in my sister's room that I need to get out of there before she moves back this weekend. I need to get things out of my suitcase so that I can pack my suitcase and leave. I have books that I need to finish before I leave. I have videos that I need to work on before I leave. So I just thought, hey, instead of just talking about books because my reading time might be cut a bit short by all the things I have to do this week, why don't you just come along and we'll read some things as we go and I'll show you lots of other things as well. I don't know what I'm gonna do right now because I'm kind of in a panic, but once I figure that out, I'll let you know. I feel like honestly the first thing I need to figure out is the suitcase that's been open in my room that I've been just using as like a collection bin while I've been home so far. So yeah, let's do that. Well, here's part of my floor I can see now. I also listened to my audiobook while working on that and I did like a little more organizing than just the suitcase. So I'm pleased with that. I did like 40 minutes and now I'm going to read until I have a phone call with a friend. The big reading goal this week is actually finishing An Echo in the Bone, which is this huge over 1000 page book. It's, I don't even know what number it is in the Outlander series. It's one of them and I've been working on it since January, but I only got like 100 pages in before this month and I want to finish it this month and before I leave for Canada and I have 200 pages left so I'm going to work on reading this for a bit. What are you doing with that? It's now just past 1 p.m. but I wanted to catch you up because I did do some reading. I got to page 985 of this and then I had a phone call with a friend, then I had lunch with my parents, and I've just been sitting here filming a Dollar Tree book haul for the last, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. So now I have to organize these books because I recently organized all my books, so I have to figure out where these ones go. I mean, it's not a perfect system, but at least want them in the boxes, you know, so let's figure that out. Please excuse how much of a mess absolutely everything around me is in my room, in my life. I'm sorry. Here's a little behind the scenes moment. So I just finished the announcement for the Junie B. Jones read along and I put on these overalls one because I felt like they fit the vibe and two because I've been wearing this shirt specifically in like every clip I've taken today. So I wanted to at least change it up a little. I'm not trying to deceive you. It's still the same shirt. It's still Memorial Day me, but I added the overalls for some oomph. I'm a little worried that you might have been able to hear them in the clip, but whatever. But the fun part about this is I'm so lazy and I'm taking these overalls off right after. I just put them on for the video. And so I didn't even technically take off the pants that I'm wearing. So I have on my leggings underneath. Cute, right? <laughs> but now that I'm done filming that, what am I gonna do next? I'm probably gonna read until my mom and I run errands because I've, feel like I've barely read today, so I want to make some more progress. I just finished this book. The way that I described it to my friends is like, I feel like nothing happened for a thousand pages. I mean, things did, but like nothing huge happened for a thousand pages, it felt like. And then the last 150 pages was the craziest thing ever. To be fair for the first a thousand pages, it's a lot of setup for different things. And also I love these characters so much that I would just read about them walking to and fro for a thousand pages. Like, I don't know why they have such a hold on me, probably because of a sunk cost analysis on my part. These books are so long and I've read so many of them now, I'm like, I have to love the characters, right? But I truly do. <laughs> so I'm giving this four stars. I 
I was gasping in the living room and my parents were like, are you okay? My mom said she should have been filming me because I was properly losing it. And like 150 pages of this takes a while to read. Like I was losing it for a few hours, you know? If you don't know, this is the seventh book in the Outlander series, which is the series about this woman who accidentally travels back in time to Scotland. It's so much more than that now. It's like, this series is well known for its romance, but I think that is honestly such a shame that that's what it's like most famous for because the historical research, the medical research is insane in this series because our main character who goes back in time is a physician. So she has to deal with some medical ailments that she does not have the proper tools for in like the 17th century and she has to get very creative. So these are honestly just crazy. Crazy from start to finish. I'm glad I spent the afternoon finishing this. I'm glad it's done. I've been reading it since January, but I read most of it in the past week or so. So done and dusted. <laughs> my biggest book of the year. This is my stack of Outlander books that I've read. And it is now grown by 1,100 49 pages. Brilliant. Happy Tuesday. I just woke up in thrown clothes because I'm gonna go on a walk with my mom soon. But last night, all I did for the rest of the night was read a book so that I could finish it for a review that I have to film today because it's a 12 TVRs book. But today is gonna be another crazy one. So uh, let's go. Good morning. Okay, here's the update. It's a little bit later, 9.37, and I have been busy. I did respond to some of my research assistants that needed some things, but the main thing that I was doing was filming, editing, and uploading the June readathon video. This page from Pages with Page put out a call a couple days ago saying um, she was sick and she needed help putting out this video, so I was like, why not? And sign myself up to do that. So that's going out tomorrow and I can, I guess, mark it off on my Notion list. Scheduled and my Junie B. I need to update this. My Junie B. Jones read along announcement is in editing because I filmed that yesterday. My first week with my Kindle is in editing because I finished that. I'm filming this one. Uh -huh. I have two more videos to film. I have three more videos to film before I leave town. One is my May stats. I can't do that until I'm done reading for May. And then I have another Dollar Tree haul to film and the Ugh, I'm so annoyed tag to film. So I guess I'm just going to try to film a video a day until I leave and maybe try to edit a video a day. We'll see. I've done my thing for today. So, you know, I'm going to call it good. And I need to look at my to-do list for the rest of the day. I have a meeting at noon but it's not time for that yet. I have a hangout on Zoom with some friends tonight. Also not time for that. I filmed and edited the readathon video. I am talking to my vlog right now, so I feel like I can mark off that I did talk to it at least once. I have to film a review for a book. I should actually do that right now while I'm in a filming groove, and then maybe I'll work on either cleaning up my sister's room where a ton of my stuff is still stored or writing a letter to a kid who's graduating, who I've known for a really long time. Okay, that's the plan. So I'm gonna film this for you and go from there. I spent a good chunk of the afternoon finishing a book because that's how I like to spend a nice chunk of an afternoon. And so I finished reading Edge of Madness by Kyla Stone, which is the second book in the Edge of Collapse series, which is a post-apocalyptic dystopian thriller-ish series, basically about the end of the world because there's an electromagnetic pulse and everything shuts down and i'm giving this one four stars i was really hesitant when i started it because i really enjoyed the first book and then the prequel was also pretty good but in this one we were suddenly following totally different characters and they are related to the characters in the first book so i'm interested to see how their plot lines move together in future books because i know they will because in the third book we're moving back to the original cast anyway 
So I was hesitant at first because I was like, I don't know that I'm going to care about your plot line because the thing that I liked about the first book was that it was kind of a different situation that the main character was in than a character normally is in at the beginning of the apocalypse, I guess. But I did end up enjoying this. The main two people that we're following in this one are Noah Sheridan. He's a single dad because his wife went missing five years ago. She's the main character of the first book and his son has Addison's disease and he's also one of like a handful of law enforcement officers in their small town when this disaster hits. And then we're also following one of his neighbors, Quinn, who's a 16 year old girl. It's interesting to get both of their perspectives. I liked both of them as characters. So I'm excited that we added them to the cast and I'm interested to see what the author does with them in the future. Tonight, I have a game night online with some of my friends. Ironically enough, they're some of my friends from my hometown, but they all like go to college here. And so they're not here right now because it's summer and they aren't taking summer classes. So we're all meeting on Zoom. Ironically, the like one time that I'm back home, but I'm excited to see them and hang out with them. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I didn't talk to you yesterday, but nothing much interesting happened. I'll be honest with you. Anyway, so today is Thursday. I have some goals. One, there was a video I was going to edit yesterday that I did not edit. And there was a video I was going to film yesterday that I did not film. So I'd love to do that today. I also need to start considering what I'm packing for the trip because yesterday I did end up finishing my cleaning out of my sister's room. So at least everything's out of there. Now I just need to pack things for a three week trip. At least I've made the hardest decisions of all. I've already decided which books I'm going to pack. So that's good. The only physical books that I'm bringing on that trip are books that I'm going to be using for big Wonderthon points at the beginning of Wonderthon, which starts while I'm gone. I have the stack of books along with the prompts they go with and which category they belong to. But other than that, I'm only bringing my Kindle because I just got my Kindle and I really just want to read on it. So I'm doing that also because once you buy a Kindle, you can get three free months of Kindle Unlimited. So I've done that and I want to make sure that I'm reading all the books on KU that I want to read before those three months are up. So that's that. We'll see where the day takes us. I know this morning is not going to be very productive. I'm going to drive across town with my mom and we're meeting up with some other people for like brunch. And then I guess this afternoon we'll see what the workflow is like, but That's the update. Good afternoon. I am spending this afternoon doing some bookish things. So I just sat here and I filmed a Dollar Tree book haul, which is great that I got that out of the way so that I can edit it and have it go up while I'm gone. I also finished reading a book. Specifically, I finished reading The Marionettes, which is the first book in a four book series by an indie author who I follow here on YouTube. She was a booktuber for a while. I also followed her college vlogs and I've been waiting to read this book for a while. And I'm glad that I waited because I had the first book, like I owned it outright on Kindle because there was like a 99 cent sale one time. And then I should have just read it then, but I didn't, I kept putting it off. And I'm really glad I did put it off in the end because there is an insane cliffhanger. Now I have Kindle Unlimited for a few months and so I'll be able to read the other books in the series. So thank goodness. It wasn't even like a really cheap cliffhanger or anything where they just really want you to continue reading. It was like genuinely, I feel like a good cliffhanger. And I understand like the arc of the first book and then the cliffhanger, it made sense. Anyway, this book series is about this girl and she goes to this academy, she's a blood witch and she's in her final year. And so she's about to take like her exams and do her initiation to potentially become part of this group called the marionettes. And they work with the vampires in the society. And so basically she's paired up with a vampire for this like process. And she ends up getting a very interesting person to pair up with. 
and also some weird things are happening with her powers and things just get stranger for her. So I thought it was a really fun time. I read most of it between yesterday and today and the only reason I stopped reading it last night is because it was time to go to sleep like I genuinely couldn't keep my eyes open and then I like put off doing things on my to-do list because I wanted to finish it today like I had a good time with it which I feel like with this type of story like a paranormal fantasy like vampire thing is difficult for me to get into but I was into this one so I'm excited to continue the series yeah so that's another bookish thing I did and I think maybe while I'm on a filming role, I might change my angle and film the Ugh I'm So Annoyed book tag because I also have to film that before I leave or I would like to film it before I leave. I don't want to deal with like making a thumbnail and filling out descriptions and stuff right now. But I guess what I could do while I have the better Wi-Fi to do it is I could at least upload the video that I edited earlier. I forgot to tell you that I edited my Sunday video <laughs> earlier, my 24 hours of physical books, so I edited that. So I guess I'll let that upload right now and schedule it, but I won't fill in any of the details or make the thumbnail now. I'll save that for later because I don't need the Wi-Fi to be super good for me to do that, but for my upload speed to be good, I'd like to do as much of that here as possible. So maybe while I'm doing that, I'll film. We'll see. <laughs> Good morning, happy Saturday. I'm here to fill you in on some things for the last day of this vlog because we're leaving for our trip tomorrow. So things need to be done today. I am not where I'd like to be in terms of having things ready. And I've just come to the conclusion that like, I did a lot of filming this week and I'm going to have to edit and upload those things later. Like while I'm away, I'll bring my hard drive and everything, it'll be fine. In my head, I had imagined those videos all being ready to go, but they absolutely will not be and that's okay. This is the last day I have here. It's a busy day. I have a clogging show. My sister's home, so I'm hanging out with her and I haven't started packing. <laughs> so that's the main goal for today is that I need to pack for the trip. And then I also came here to share a book review with you because Mm, two days ago. Yeah, Thursday evening, I think it was, I finished Promise Boys by Nick Brooks, which I'm giving four stars. I listened to this on audiobook, and if you're into this type of thing, note that it's a full cast audiobook. In this one, we're following these three teenagers at this really weird school called Promise Prep, as they are all kind of accused of being the one to kill their principal because they were all in detention when it happened and so the only way to clear their names basically is to find out who actually killed the principal so we're following them through that and getting to know all their different stories and their walks of life and all that i just thought it was a like pretty engaging ya mystery book i think like the ending made sense but also wasn't like too predictable? I, I don't really think it was predictable. I didn't predict it. <laughs> I found our three main characters very interesting. They all had very different lives from one another and seeing them live their lives and then try to express their lives to one another was interesting to me. And yeah, it was just a good time overall. So four stars for that. I'm not going to start packing right this second, but got to be thinking, what am I packing for three weeks away? <laughs> just filmed my May stats, which I compiled this morning. I filmed it now. So I'm going to put that on my computer so that I can edit it whenever I have the chance on the trip. Okay, sorry if you can hear any sounds in the background. I'm not going to tell my family to be quiet. They're living their lives. I just came to end this vlog right here because I mostly packed. I didn't show you that because it was genuinely uninteresting. I was just like throwing clothes in a bag. The only things I haven't packed are the things I have to pack tomorrow morning. So I'm going to go relax for the rest of the night. I'm going to end this vlog here. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. What does a week before leaving for a trip look like for you? And subscribe for more bookish and college lifestyle content. And until next time, bye humans, bye.